They say that a man does not appreciate things until it's gone. Well, I've witnessed that firsthand because I've lost everything. Even the normal society world that I live in now. This zombie apocalypse, man. Like, you know, losing your family really pushes a man to his limit. You know, a man starts wondering that even if reality is true anymore. If reality still is this, you know, it gets real disturbed and visions get real blurry all of a sudden and things get real bad. My name's Cliff. I've been in this world for 12 days now. You know, right now I'm just trying to find weapons. I can't, I can't let the murderer who killed my family get away with what he did. And I heard this place, this place called Pleasant Valley, that they had guns there. So we're gonna go check that out. I'm gonna do what I need to do, but first I must get strapped. I heard of a nearby car uh, that was marked on a map, so I'm gonna go check that out. And hopefully, hopefully it'll get me to where I need to go. Ah, uh, Lydia, Rachel, Charles, miss y'all, man. This house been through so much since I've been gone. I had to rebuild. I've been in a little town beside it. Making up something. Trying to make a day of living. I don't have any friends, but I need some. This world, this world I'm not gonna make it alone. Man, this house is so far away. Is that, is that it? Is that the car? Oh, gosh. Man. Guys, this map was not lying, man. This really is a far car. Please, please tell me that these parts will work. Uh, yes, it's unlocked. Okay, okay, that's that. There's that. Oh, come on, crank, baby, crank, crank. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, thank God. Uh, now, now I hear the Pleasant Valley. Now it's time to go. I decided to take a nap in my car before I headed to Pleasant Valley, but I ended up having one of those crazy dreams again. Man, the dreams of me dying. Why do I keep having these dreams? What does it mean? How you doing? It's all right, man. Hope you like that new crossbow, bro. Oh, dude, right? Crossbow's pretty awesome in this game. Yeah, man, I like it. It's really, that's a really good gun. Can't, can't lie. All right, well, sorry. We had to fulfill blood loss. Have a good one. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Have a good one. Now. Wake up. What? Oh, crap. I lost it that quick. Oh my god. Oh. oh my gosh. Well, I guess this means I'm stuck walking. Hopefully it's not too far. I'll get there. I always get where I need to get. Right into Devil's Pit. 
The sanctuary itself. Population 5,000 zombies. And a lot of crazy people. I don't know what's gonna happen to me here. All I know is that my life will never be the same. I decided to look for a car. I knew this place was just too huge. So I knew the best thing to do for me have a car just in case things got bad. But as always, things get bad before I even get to planet. Close. Thought I was a gunner right there. Oh, door. Woo, another close one. Well, this is one, and not too bad to miss with. 30 seconds. Remember your training. Come on. Get in. Get out. Move fast. I made too much noise, so I know they're coming. So I gotta get out of here as fast as I can. I gotta move. What? How? Ugh! 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 You can figure out how to sneak in here. I'm on this time to get dark. Oh, I have to find a way to get back home. Ugh! Get off of me! Ugh! Help! The fatigue is really starting to get to me. Really starting to miss every all my shots. Pretty much out of bullets. I'm running a little bandages.
Man, I knew coming here was a bad idea. <sighs> Gosh, I thought I was a goner with all those zombies. <sighs> I can't believe I got out of there. I think I'm going to just relax here for a minute. Maybe take a nap. You know, it seems pretty safe. Man, I just I just need a rest because I'm tired. Man, I just really want to get out of here. I can't die before I get my revenge. I just can't. I can't believe the man who killed my family sent an assassin after me. I barely escaped that. I could have been dead. I have to find help. I have to find backup. I think I just did. <laughs> it looks so good. Yeah, I feel I feel like kind of a dumbass sitting like one foot away from a 32 inch screen. This is musical. This is the kind of guy you want with you because he'll be the first one to run into the gunfire to try to save you. Now, will he kill him? That's the questionable part. And this is Mr. Briefcase. Awkward kind of guy. He seems to really like lighting candles when it's just you and him in the room by ourselves. Not for sure what his gig is, but I think I can hang with these guys. They seem like good people. See if I can pluck it from here with this crossbow. I missed. Is there a car? Oh, I just heard a car. Oh, that's, that's outside my window. And this is Knuckles. You know, I have a lot to say about this man. I was really worried that the wolf was going to eat his face, though. He was determined to beat that wolf with a branch. I don't really know what's inside his head. I'm not trying to find out. All I know is I think I'm gonna hang around him. Fuck you, wolf. I'm gonna take your bitch ass out. How'd you hit that thing and it's still not dead? Because yeah. I didn't hit it in the head. Hold oh, on, I'm gonna give you this crossbow. Got a branch though. We decided to head back to Pleasant Valley to deal with the assassin who tried to kill me. Little did we know the murderer had one up on us. He actually ended up getting the best of us. You guys rolling? Right. Uh, yeah, we're back on the first floor now. Adam. I don't see anybody here, so... I can go out this side window over here. So I'm about to do fun. that. I'm about to break this window and jump through it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see the window. <laughs> There's one over here, too. It's probably saving and going out the door. Do I have something to break it? Yeah, I do. Your fist? So, uh... Alright, follow me. We're going to these apartments. Oh, it doesn't work that way. Says who? You cheated. You cheated. We can't get out, though. I'm stuck. No, don't leave me here. <laughs> I'm going to the back. Got so many zombies. Oh, that's a dead there end. Is no bad. Turn around, turn around. Come on, come on. Taylor, your idea sucks. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, there's scrap metal in this parking lot. I got to go to the parking lot. I want this metal sheet. Somebody shoot. Somebody's here. Somebody's here. Somebody shooting at y'all? Yeah. Go back to the police Arch station. Right here. She's right here. She's right here. I have no idea where y'all are. Throw a grenade. Throw a grenade. Is it more than one? No, no it's just a girl. I think your grenade killed me. Holy shit. That you died? Good. Yeah. Wait, where are y'all going? Is that you? I'm on close to I see musical. What's the guy who killed Taylor? They ran down the street with all the zombies. Yeah. My bag is right there in the middle of you. It's right up my bottom. I saw it. How many, how many are there? Just one. Musical, go back. I think he just ran his base. Where are you guys at? 
Trying to get Taylor's stuff. Wait, did two of y'all die? No, I'm still alive. To our surprise, Kanukas was still alive. Severely hurt, but barely breathing. I quickly told Musical and Mr. Briefcase to take him back to their base and heal him up and make sure that he lives. I can't keep letting this happen. I can't keep letting people get hurt. This murderer has to die, and for me to do that, I have to find out where he is. Shh. Who was that? I thought somebody. Where is he? He's a big car. Need to hear more. I'm moving. Was that if he ran away? A shot. shot. To my surprise, the man that I shot wasn't dead. But maybe that was a good thing, because after talking to him, I found out that he actually worked for the man who killed my family. Well, I say he's not alive anymore, but he did tell me where he was. The murderer, of course. Finally, I get my chance. I won't let you get away this time. For two days, I've searched for you. I've hunted for you. I've wanted you dead. And I've finally found you. You've killed everybody who's important to you. And you even tried to hurt my new friend. But now, you will pay. You will suffer. Look at you. You think you're safe living in your world right now that you're in. You think you're safe, but you're not safe. You're going to die today. And you don't even know it. But you will soon. This is for you, kids. This is for you, wife. This is the revenge I've been waiting for. This is the point where you die. And you won't come back. You won't get to hurt another person. You are gonna die here right now. Got you, you bandit. They say that a man does not appreciate things until it's gone. Well, I've witnessed that firsthand because I've lost everything. Even the normal society world that I live in now, this zombie apocalypse, man, like, Losing a family really pushes a man to his limit. You know, a man starts wondering that even if reality is true anymore, if reality still is this, you know, it gets real distorted and visions get real blurry all of a sudden and things get real bad.